So it was a week ago today that that deep freeze rolled in. And uh, so I just thought I'd get it out today. It's supposed to be it's supposed to be 50 today, but it's gonna be it's gonna be too windy, I believe, for them to be flying. Normally these girls will be out doing cleansing flights, um, but it is super windy out this morning. So maybe this afternoon, I don't know. So I'm not using my stethoscope that I got from the auto parts store <sighs> this thing comes in real handy because you can use the long probe to kind of clean out the dead all right there's one so I wanted to make sure that these get an idea where they're at as far as if I lost any during the freeze Obviously this one, this colony's still alive. I'll get some of those dead out for them. I'm not gonna pull in right there because obviously the cluster is round in here and I don't want to uh, knock any more down than I have to. I just wanna make sure they're cleaned out now this one I'm not seeing much dead that doesn't mean that there's not a bunch of them we'll see here in a minute there's a live bee there's one that's trying to haul off some of the dead so this colony this colony is alive too now I tried this getting this on my GoPro numerous times and I just I just can't get it to pick up the sound. Um, but what I do, I just come in and I just stick us in. In the winter, you can't really always get an accurate sound because of the clusters up here. Sometimes you can't hear it with this. But I do have I do have top entrances in my stuff, um, most of my stuff. So I just stick the probe right there against those frames, and I can hear them hear them pretty good. So. These two are still good. I'm gonna ride over to the other to the other property and check those. I switched over to my phone. I don't know if the audio will be any better on here or not. I'm telling y'all, it's it is windy. So check these with the stethoscope. Um, right there, you can see B coming out. So. This colony made it through the freeze. This five over five made it through, and so did so did this colony. And you guys are down south are gonna think I'm plum crazy. Um, and I've done it. I've done it for probably the last four or five years. I've actually overwintered with open bottom. A week ago today. Wind chills got down to minus 30, is either minus 36 or 38 with wind chill. I don't know how, uh, what the actual temperature was, how cold it got, um, but it was, it was daggone cold up here. Um, but so far I've checked five of the colonies, six, six, because I checked the one that we have in town too. Um, so, so far six out of six made it through. I'm gonna run up and check a couple more of them, but. So far, so good. This was my weakest colony going into winter. I don't know if my phone will pick that up. Well, you can just see a bee just came out of there. So far, even those girls made it through. A super cold snap. Now it's still not warm enough. I can't. I can't pop the top on anything today. Um, check on their stores but I seen a I seen a post from one of our local uh, weather girls on Instagram this morning saying that we might see 60 degree day next week well if that's the case I'll get back out here and I'll get back out here and I'll pop the tops on some of them but so so far 
every colony that I checked today all made it through the deep freeze haven't lost any yet so a couple more months girls a couple more months <laughs>